Uh, I'm not sure that it will. I just know it needs to be tried again. Um, it's the war and peace, the most important thing that we do down here. I think the Constitution is pretty clear. I think it's very clear that only Congress has the power to declare war. And for me, um, that's kind of paramount above all else. It's, uh, it's there's really no other issue that uh, is more important. Now, you, you know, of course, that the War Powers Act notwithstanding, it has been decades since a declaration of war has been issued or voted upon by the United States Congress, and presidents have routinely taken us into combat with ambiguous congressional support. So what argument are you going to make to the court to have the judge decide in your favor and tell the president to pull our troops back from Libya? I think in this case, it's even more clear than in most. I mean, at least in Iraq, though I voted no, uh, Congress at least was on record with something saying it's okay. Uh, in this particular case, Congress wasn't even asked. And in my opinion, this makes it a cleaner case. Hopefully, a court will find its way uh, clear to at least answering the question. Now, you have bipartisan support for your litigation. You're going to go to court. Uh, you have Republicans and Democrats, as I understand it, joining you in this effort. Am I That's correct right. about that? That's right. That's right. And this is a nonpartisan effort. And for me, I am a strong and early supporter of President Obama. This has nothing to do with, with him. Uh, I think he's a good president, but I think on this particular issue, he was wrong. And for me, it's not even about Libya. It's about the next war and the next president, uh, whatever might happen tomorrow. I think it's critical that this issue be answered.